Shopify just dropped 10 brand new free themes in their Shopify Summer 2025 update. And I'm going to sh show you exactly what that looks like. If you don't know who I am, my name is Clayton Bates. I'm one of YouTube's only verified Shopify experts. And I've built over 600 websites with myself and my agency. So we've picked quite a lot of themes and we know a lot about themes basically. And in this video, I'm going to break down these three areas. So number one, what no one is talking about right now with the free themes that Shopify just launched. Number two, the 10 new free themes. I'm just going to go through them. And number three, I'm going to show you the AI powered section block builder that is in the new free themes. So let's get into it. All right. So at the moment, I'm in the Shopify theme store. And if you click free here, there's 23 free free themes and 242 premium. If you go most, uh, sorry, we should do most recent, it will actually pull all the 10 new Shopify free themes. So there's three there, three there, three there, and Horizon. I think Horizon is really going to be the new dawn, basically. And there's something I've seen no one really talk about. I've went into forums, I've watched videos on YouTube and watched the comments and people talk about stuff. And there's something I think everyone's sort of overlooking. And the fact is that when Dawn theme first come out like years ago, I don't know how long ago now, but a few years ago, I think everyone was like, oh, Dawn, ah, like people were like bagging it out. And then some people liked it and stuff like that. And the way I look at these three themes is that they are not good enough right now. But in a few like updates, maybe three months, six months, they will work out a lot of the kinks and stuff and really get these to work really well. Some of our clients that we've built on Dawn theme, the old main free theme, have generated way over $100,000 a month. And we built some really nice websites on that theme template. And I think when you look at a theme template, when it's free, there's two really good case studies for a free template. And the first one is if you're brand new, just starting out, you haven't got any sales, a free template like this will be really good. And then the other flip side to that is if you're making $100,000 a month or, or whatever, you can really customize the out of, out of the themes, basically. You can really build and customize something really unique and really, really full on. Normally, the mid-range sort of thing, we don't really use free themes as much. But yeah, it's basically a foundation to build upon. I always think like, the free theme can get you 20, 30% of the way there. A premium theme can get you 60, 70% of the way there. And then hiring a developer can normally get you 100% of the way there and using apps and combinations and stuff. These new free themes, my first impressions is that instead of getting 20 or 30% of the way there, they probably can get you 40 to 50% of the way there. So I like to have an open mind to this sort of stuff. So Let's get into the next part. So I've opened up all the new free themes. So Horizon, it already has some reviews here. And then you can go through and actually check all the different ones like this. So I'm just going through all of them here. I'm pretty sure it's going to be a little bit like Dawn. The old Dawn theme, all the 10 free themes were basically Dawn. Just Dawn was the main one. And then it was like different combinations and a little bit of a different layout for the other ones. So I'm pretty sure if I go through all of these, they're going to be very similar sort of thing. You can open up the preview here if you want. Now, always free themes are going to get bagged uh, in the reviews all the time because the thing about paying $400 USD for a premium theme, it's going to have so many more features than if you use a free one sort of thing. So you can come here and like check it out, see what it looks like on mobile, desktop, things like that. I've already sort of said that I have a feeling this Horizon one you're going to be able to build a really good fashion business like print on demand, things like that is going to be pretty good for this one. This one, I was actually really curious and why I put it the second one as well is because I just really like the demo that they have here, like Savior. It started to make my brain think, man, there's so many cool combinations that we probably could do um, along these lines sort of thing when we're building out websites like this. How cool is that? Like with the video on that, I reckon that's really good. One thing that a lot of people underestimate is this section block right here. Tell your story. Like there's a reason that you can have a competitive advantage over a big company. Tell your story. People relate to you on things like that. There's probably people watching this video that relate to me. You might relate to another YouTuber. You might all these different things. 
So when you leave stuff like this out of your website, you're probably losing lots of potential customers. Like just an about page, for example, like only one to five people out of a hundred go to about page. But the type of people that read the whole about page, super, super highly likely converting on customer. So many people forget about that. So many people don't talk about that. I really wish they, they would. I don't mind this footer. It looks a little bit clean. Menus, I already always like menus like this. Quick little uh, newsletter sign up. This one as well looks pretty cool. Let's have a look here. This is sort of like a style that I don't really like gel or relate too much. We've built a couple of websites like this, but sometimes this one is like very hard for me to build a website like that sometimes. Normally just some of my team will build websites like that. Don't mind some of the section blocks here. Not always a big fan of having this down there. I know this is a little bit more common lately. A few websites are doing stuff like that, which I thought was pretty cool. Yeah, this is cool too. Pitch. One of my staff built a website like this or someone that works for me sometimes, they built a website very similar to this. So that's pretty cool. Don't mind this. I really like this yellow sort of the, the color they've used here. You can also, which I forgot to say, you can actually go down here, see the reviews, um, see what they're using and stuff like that, which can be pretty hand helpful. But this is just giving you some inspiration. So what my initial thoughts are, if you're trying to pick one of these, is like just go with what you like the best out of the 10. So check all the 10 previews out, like actually click through the demos and see what you like the best and start there. Like probably the main two things that you want to think about is the footer and the header. If you like the footer and the header, you, you basically can build most things. But I think if you're just a newbie or starting out, sorry to say newbie, but um, I'll just pick the one that you like the best. Try that for free and just go for it. All right, so I've downloaded all the new free themes into my test store, but I'm mostly just going to go through Horizon because I feel like that's the new dawn. So let's actually jump into the customizer and check it out a little bit here. All right, so this is just a website I test different things in. It's got some random products and stuff that I added here. Um, but the first thing, I don't really mind the heading here. All right, so let's add a logo. So I might just add my logo, just see what happens here. So why is logo not in here? All right, so you probably have to go into here, our logo and favicon. So let's put our logo here. That's my agency if you're wondering what is Inspire Small Business, by the way. All right, so it's very weird that it's right there. Uh, it's there too. It must be part of the section block. Why the, oh yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. So see how my logo is there? So I don't actually really mind this header too much. You probably could put an announcement bar up here, like free shipping on orders over X amount of dollars. By, by the way, the three best types of announcement bars are free shipping on orders over X, special offer, or cool slogan. So we could actually write something like free shipping on orders over $100, like that. And then we could change the colors and stuff. So I wonder if they have the same sort of color. Oh, uh, yeah, the color scheme is here. So this color schema would be this. We could change it to like more closer to our little thing here. Uh, there's a Google Chrome extension, by the way. It's called, what's it called here? Uh, where you can actually like click it and get the color code in like two seconds, which is pretty cool. So we can actually just paste in our color code here. But it's like, who remembers their color code of their logo and stuff like that? No one. Well, some people would, but see how I mean? It just in two seconds, we now have announcement by there like that. So that's pretty cool. I don't mind that. The next bit I'm going to go to is just the footer. Just going to check out the footer. Let's click here. There's a couple little options and stuff that we can add. We can probably add some menus and stuff like that. I really don't mind the layout of how like it's like basic stuff. Yeah, it's got all it's all sectioned out like what type of things it is. And when you hover over it, you can see what it actually looks like. So see all the different things for most things. So we can click a menu and we can just drop them. See how it's got a menu here now. I haven't really built out all the menus and stuff. Let's put another menu and see what happens. Yeah, so there's probably a reason why it's here. Oh, how cool is that? Accordion on mobile. So like when you go to mobile, it's now like a drop down. That's pretty cool. A lot of themes don't do that, which I'm very surprised why they don't do that. So, oh yeah, so see hit that. The one thing a lot of people forget about also is like, they optimize their website for desktop because what I think and my theory behind this is that people sit at their computer and they're working on their website at the computer. 
So they're looking at their website on a computer and then they're like, oh, it doesn't look all the, it looks good on desktop, but they're not thinking about mobile. And the thing is, right, 50 to 90% of your traffic is going to go on mobile. So it's really important that you optimize the website to work really well on a mobile. Now, the next thing I sort of wanted to play around with was like adding these sections. So it's got heaps of different sections here, like hero, a couple of different types of hero, the logo, lots of different collection list options. When I was playing around with this, it's a little bit annoying, the collection list that they've actually made, but it goes back to the start of the video is like, I think they're gonna have like teether, teethering problems. They're probably gonna get hammered with support and they'll sort of work out what people don't like and stuff. Contact form. Yeah, there's a few different things here that we can add and we can even test out the AI sort of thing. Yeah, they've got a couple of like really cool things here. So they also have this custom section. So when I was playing around with this yesterday, um, I straight away broke it on Shopify and it didn't work. So maybe let's try to do it. So we're going to generate. So this is AI. And the thing about AI as well is that if you don't know the right words, AI is not your friend sometimes. So like if you're an expert in the field, so this is why I think developers, if they embrace the AI, they're going to love this because if, if we know the lingo and stuff like that, we know what to write into AI. And when you're starting out, you might not know the lingo and stuff. So for example, um, I just, I was like, make me a list, even though it has collection list, right? So when I actually did this yesterday, it actually made a collection list where it wasn't flexible. I couldn't change things and stuff like that. Now, fair enough, I gave it a really bad prompt. And a lot of AI is like, you really need to feed it good prompts. And I think that's what a lot of people don't realize with AI is that the better the information you put into the AI, the better the result you're gonna get back. So right now it's actually writing all the code for this collection list. And I just was very generalized. Um, it already has lots of collection lists in this theme. Uh, so if you like add a section block, there's heaps of different types of collection lists. So we're really just like, Let's see what the AI does. All right, so it's finally wrote all the code for this and see how it's like custom section block and it's got collection list here. So let's actually click in and see what it, see what it does here. Yep, got a lot of uh, cool things here. The one thing I would say is that this is a little bit confusing with the colors. So this is actually better for you, but it's a little bit more confusing because in the last version of the free themes in Dawn, they actually try to make it so the colors are actually easier for you to update. So you, you make a couple of color schemas and then you can turn them on on different sections, but now you can override them. So this will be super annoying if you ever change all your colors on your website, because you have to go into each section block or any that you randomly change stuff and things like that and go through and change it all. So this can be a little bit annoying if they did this. You probably could write some like prompt where it's like, hey, I don't want to have colors, I want to use a schema, you know, things like that. But is the average person going to know, know that? Maybe not. So let's select some of our collections here. So I can't move these collection lists around, which is annoying. I was trying this on the other collection list as well. I can't actually see these collections here for some reason. Why can I not see them? Let's save here. All right, so the reason I can't see them is show overlay. So now we can see them here. All right, so can we reorder these? I don't think so. So let's go back here. Let's go back here. We probably could put into the AI, please make a collection list where we can reorder these sort of things. Let me know if I'm missing something, let me know in the comments below. That's pretty cool. Yeah, so you can change lots of different stuff here. One thing as well, which most people are probably not gonna think about is that to actually have an image here, you would have to go into your collection list add an image and then it'll be displayed here. I really hate that. I actually like when you click on you click on here and you can update the image in here because you don't want to go back and forth between the collections. But if we wrote an AI prompt where it's like, hey, we want uh, a collection list where we can reorder stuff. We can upload our own image without going out of the customizer. It probably could do all that. So these are like little things that a lot of people are going to message support things like that, people are gonna get feedback and they're probably gonna improve this. So like I said at the start of the video, my thoughts around all this is that it's gonna be like the, the first dawn 
where there's so many issues they kept updating things they're finding issues and stuff like that and one of my my theories around it is that the people that build these pre templates they they most likely don't build lots of websites and work with lots of clients because a lot of these little things that i just picked up they're probably not being asked about you know every week sort of thing um but i definitely think version one needs to improve a lot and by the time we get to like i think dawn's at like version 15 now or something like that by the time we get to version 15 of this theme it's going to be a pretty good theme and developers really embrace this theme because you know the lingo we know the lingo we know the stuff we can really build out amazing websites using this so use the ai as your friend like i always say ai is our friend at the moment if you have people very well trained in ai if you have five people very well trained in ai it's going to be like you have a hundred staff so embrace it keep putting out really good work for your clients and stuff like that anyone ask me questions in the whatever i miss any of your thoughts and we will talk soon thanks